Hola loves, this is Rosie J. Please drop a like to keep me motivated and show some support. If you love my channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new videos. Today I'll be using my lovely model to show you guys how to cover a problem skin and any deep scars. I will begin with this tea tree water from Lush. This is beneficial for anyone with oily or spot prone skin. As a primer, I'll be using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. I love this because it's a light infusing primer and it's perfect for photo shoots. She's gonna kill me for posting these faces, but they're hilarious. <laughs> Now that she's all primed, we'll begin with the Color Camouflage Concealers just to cover up all that scarring and stuff like that. I'll be using my Equal Tools brush. I'll use the back end of the brush. I will also use this Derma Blend Eraser Stick in the color green to neutralize the redness in her skin. Both the Eraser Stick and the Camouflage Concealers are from Carlon. Adios mio! Hopefully I'm pronouncing all this stuff right, because if not, jeez. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh my God, I love how everything's coming out flawless. Now with the Anastasia the Brow, medium brown, I'm just lightly filling in her brow. She already has a really nice arch and form to her brow, so I don't have to do too much. And always remember to brush out your brows just so they don't look too harsh. Now I'm just applying the Neutrogena Shine Control Foundation. This is a shade way lighter than her actual shade, but you guys will see how it all works out. Also don't forget to blend down to the neck. I must have a soft touch, look at her, enjoying this, falling asleep and everything. <laughs> Up next, I use the La Masca Liquid Metal and the Color Superior as a base for her shadow. The shadow I use is the color navy from the Lorac Pro 2. For the crease, I use the color light brown, also from Lorac Pro 2, and then went ahead and added some more of the navy. I am very funny, so you will see her laughing throughout the whole video. Now for the inner corner, I'm using the color Champagne Truffle from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. And don't forget to blend, blend, blend. I'm using the color Light Brown from Lorac Pro 2. And uh, I'm using White Chocolate from Too Faced Chocolate Bar just to highlight the brow a little. With Carlin's HD Micro Foundation Cream Palette, I'll be using two different colors, one to contour and one to highlight, with a small Sonia Kashu, Kashu, whatever brush to kind of, you know, just do a thing, a little contour, a little highlight, and with my stippling brush, just blend it all out. To set the highlight, I'll be using Mary Kay's mineral highlight powder in the color pink porcelain. To emphasize the contour a little bit more, I'll be using Maybelline's Master Highlight in the shade Deep Bronze. I love this Mary Kay brush, it's such a pretty color. For those apples, we're going to use Revlon's Naughty Nude Blush. When using mineral powder, don't forget to tap down your brush so that all the powder gets into it and you can just apply everything nice and evenly. Gotta curl those lashes and add that mascara, scandalized by Rimmel. Also, underline that waterline. I'll be using the color Pink Frost from Melania on her lips. This girl has so much hair. But anyways, on to the pencil curls. That little string you guys saw was a little plastic decoration sort of thing that the pencil had. We don't want to burn anybody's hair. Or do you? <laughs> After you get the hair wrapped around the pencil, you want to use a lemon foil just to compress everything in there and make sure the heat distributes evenly. And just pass through with your firing, making sure everything's nice and curly and ta-da! 
This hairstyle is very, very tedious. It's horrible. My back was hurting, my feet were hurting once I was done. It took us probably like four hours. So if you don't have patience and all that, don't try it. <laughs> Do not recommend it. Unless you love pizza and that's what you're gonna get, because I know I did. 10 years later, after you're finally done with the thing, <laughs> this is how it will look. Mine is a little sloppy and everything is perfect, but this was my first time trying it and it took four hours, so yeah. Once you brush it out, and with your fingers of course, it will look a little bit more volumized and like more natural, which was this. She loved it. I cannot emphasize enough, guys, please Give me a thumbs up, drop a like, you know, subscribe, share this. If you guys don't have a YouTube account, please create one so you guys can subscribe and follow all my videos and so you don't miss out on anything because I will be posting a lot. I'm trying to keep it to two videos a week, but I might be doing more than that. So stay tuned, you guys. Bye-bye.